from EXO19 in London! In London! Yes! Yeah. We're in my hometown! My parents are sitting over there! My goodness! That's oh my awesome. god! Uh, so we've got a huge show planned for you today with news and reveals from Xbox Game Studios, Xbox Game Pass, Project X Cloud, yep. Idea Xbox, Matt Booty, Phil Spencer, and so much more. That's right. Who's excited? Yes! <laughs> yes, you are! Good evening and welcome to the British Academy Games Awards 2019. We're live from the Queen Elizabeth Hall on London's stunning South Bank. Over the next hour, we'll be bringing you all the build-up and interviews from the red carpet as we look ahead to the most prestigious night in gaming. This is... The number one show with Kel Feldman. The number one game this week is LEGO Jurassic World. What can I say? It's LEGO, dinosaurs, but now they've got this brand new downloadable content, right, where you can run away from a Tyrannosaurus Rex in high-heeled shoes. That's not really a thing, but it should be. It should be. The big news this week, of course, is the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta that's been out on the PS4. So let me tell you about the campaign mode. <laughs> I'm just kidding, no one wants to know about that. It's odd to me how excited you were to go spend four days in a narco state. I'm saying nothing. You were like super excited about that. I don't know, sometimes Ibiza just doesn't cut it as a holiday. You want to go somewhere a bit more edgy. All right, okay. Well, saving us from this awkward conversation. <laughs> On the couch. And actually, for all, it's, a, it's an actual gun from our game. Mm. And so we don't have these our... in England. Okay, you don't? Uh. No. <laughs> what would you say is more satisfying? Um, scoring an England goal or getting a victory royale? <laughs> Be honest. Um, You're among friends here. We would completely understand. Depends if when I score, we win in, <laughs> for England. <laughs> no, I think, uh, you know, scoring for your country is obviously a, a big highlight, but I do like winning as well. As you're probably aware by now, we are in one of the most iconic racing cities in the entire world, Monte Carlo. And if you've been joining us up until this point, you know that we've had some pretty spectacular racing. I know that we have like some of the best drivers in the entire world in this room right now, but can they drive in the heels that I am wearing this evening? Because let me tell you, <laughs> that was incredibly difficult to drive that car up yeah. and also get out of it without um, <clears throat> a moderate accident. That's going to be the challenge for next year. Never mind these different races. We're going to get all these guys to see if they can drive a GT3 car in heels. Why not? I mean, you did to it. Be, well done. tell me you wouldn't watch that. To be honest, I lost the sweepstake. I thought you were going to crash, I must say. Oh, outrageous. Sorry. Scan no, I think the guys in the track also, also were in on that, uh, Matt. So <laughs> there, uh, there there, thanks very much. Cheers, guys. A lot of faith in my driving skills. Welcome back to ESL1's Dota 2 Major semi-final, the second semi-final of the day, this time between Team Fnatic and Team Optic here from the arena in Birmingham. One million dollars. It's very hard to not do it doing that. A good play happens and the whole arena goes nuts, right? Yeah. They're all just here that, to enjoy the game. I mean, imagine that. You know, you're like a Liverpool fan yeah. and Arsenal yeah. scores. You're like, you know what, actually? <laughs> that was, that was a lovely was really goal. Well, well done. Well, 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 well done. Well. That's never going to happen. Is it super weird, though, seeing yourself in a game? It's always strange to see yourself, whether it's uh, on a movie screen or a TV set, walking <laughs> into bullets and stuff like that. Like, it's always a, a bit strange. I'm going to walk cool. Sean Ashmore off a ledge because yeah, I can. Yeah, and you know yeah. Somebody's doing that. We kind of knew with the previous trilogy how big a deal it was, but I didn't really know how big a deal it was. It's a big deal. And the one I said yes, I started to realise how big a deal it was. The way people reacted when I told them what I was doing. Yeah. yeah. Flea. I mean, I think, I mean, I don't know. We don't have fish like that in the UK. I mean, we might do, but the water's so murky, I've never seen them. So. <laughs> I'm sure they're <laughs> down there. I mean, they're they must lovely. be. What do you put with the chips? <laughs> when you're kind of growing up and you're figuring out who you are, you're discovering what kind of person you are and discovering, you know, about your sexuality and yeah. being able to kind of sort of role play within games is a really, really safe place to do that. Assassin's Creed's like the sort of like TMZ of history, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> yeah. who's who? Like, when are you going to go forward in time and like do a Kardashian one or something? <laughs> oh yes. look, that's happening. <laughs> Exclusive, I'm kidding. All right. No. Well, Energize. Energize. Yeah. Remove the hazard. Yeah. Oh wait, shield up. Shield, shield, shield. We're on fire. We're on fire. I can't be There's a lot to kind of take on board. It's VR, it's also playing video games, and if you don't play video games, that's a whole thing within itself. Then it's a Star Trek universe, then it's a high-pressure situation. I mean, my God, what do you expect? Of course we're going to be on fire. 